What's good, YouTube? This man spill dog. You know, I don't. Int I don't think Bob Arum intentionally, intentionally meant to do Shakur the way he did him. Uh, as far as you know, not marketing him, not putting him in the right fights. You know, uh, basically, basically uh, keeping the training wheels on too long. Real talk. You know, uh, but I think what ruined. I ain't gonna say ruined, but what has stifled. Shakur's uh, career at this point is Lomachenko. When Bob Arum got his hands on Lomachenko and Tyson Fury, he didn't care about nobody else uh, and for a while. And that, that, to me, those are facts. Uh, I remember first it was Lomachenko. And Loma uh, came out there, lost to Salido, but he was beating good fighters. Gary Russell, when he, when he dominated Gary Russell, that's when uh, I knew this dude is the, is the truth. Uh, and that's when they start. That's when they really forgot about Shakur. Once they got Lomachenko over, and, and after he had a few fights, and once he beat Gary Russell, they weren't thinking about nobody in that lighter division at top rank. It seemed like but Loma. You know, and uh, I think had, had he, if top rank didn't get their hands on Lomachenko, Shakur would have been their man in that division. But once they got Loma, uh, they, I think Bob made up in the, made up in his mind. This is gonna be our s superstar in the lower divisions, and he gave Loma all the big fights. Now, who I don't know if Shakur was not willing to fight these these top guys when he first got here, like Loma Chico did. But Loma made it clear with Bob Aaron when he came over here, he don't want no setup fights. He don't want to waste no time. He want to start. He want to fight the best from the time he got here, and that's what he's been doing. And it it kills Shakur. It, it killed Shakur's. Uh, it killed his rise where he, you know, you know, where you know, top rank or whoever's promoting him is, you know, putting him in bigger fights, you know, uh, bigger venues, bigger promotion behind him. Instead, they put it all on. They gave it all to Lomachenko. They gave it all to Lomachenko, and that's just the truth of the situation. Honestly, you know, and uh, I think, I think, uh, I think deep down inside, uh, Shakur know it. You know, I'm quite. I know he saw it once. Once Lomachenko got there, she they weren't worried about making no fights with Shakur and them, and they definitely weren't trying to put him. You know, because. How come Shakur and Loma don't fight each other? They're in the same camp. Bob Arum don't want to take that chance of Shakur beating Loma. I think that's what that is. Unless Shakur said he didn't want to fight. And I kind of doubt that. You know, because the boy believe in himself. Uh, Shakur do. Uh, he, getting a bad, he getting a bad rap out here a little bit because of how he's been fighting. But he had a point now where he know his big fights on the horizon. And he don't want to lose a fight and knock him out of that position. I think that's a lot of his issue. But what what these boxers fail to realize, if you're in there with Devin Haney, if you're in there with Tank Davis, if you're in there with, uh, with Lomachenko, if you're in there with certain fighters, you know, and you, and you somehow come up short, that don't hurt your career at all. Don't hurt it at all. It might, it might delay something. But it don't hurt it. It's gonna help it because one, you gonna uh, the guy who you was fighting. If he got a name, that means he got a gang of fans coming in there. And a lot of times, all of them haven't seen you. And I have done it. You know, uh, start liking a fighter even though he lost. When they when they when you put him in the ring with somebody real, and they and they show up. You know, and when you didn't know they could show up at that at that point and at that level. Uh, and I just really believe. He has done himself. I mean, well, I mean, Bob Aram. I don't think he meant to not promote Shakur. I don't. I think it's just that when he got Lomachenko, and then you know, you know, you know, uh, by him having a whole other country, you know, they think in business sense. You know, uh, he got a lot of he done made a bunch of American fans over here because he can fight. But then he already had a gang of fans overseas. Bob them looking at money. Just like Tyson Fury, when you get these guys who got a, a pretty nice following from overseas and you bring them to the United States, if they still win in spectacular fashion, that's how you get big fights down the road. 
That's how you get big, massive fights down the road. Uh, they done had some. You know, Lomachenko been in some big fights. Uh, so I think I I would like to see Shakur fight Lomachenko too. It's 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 some people I would like to see him fight. Uh, I would like to see him fight Lomachenko before he fight Tank. Be honest with you, he need a fight like that before he get in the ring with Tank. Because I don't think. As good a boxer as Shakur is, he can't he ain't gonna be able to run, for, run from take for 12 rounds. He gonna have to take some of them big shots. And he definitely don't like them. I don't know if he can take them or not. I know he don't like them. He might be able to take big shots, but he tries best not to let you get too many of them off. That's how Floyd was, and I actually respect that. But you gotta, but you gotta let your hands go. You know, he real good in a pocket where he can be right next to you and, and catch, but he don't catch and shoot a lot of times. You want to see the shoot. He catching good, but sometimes he ain't letting it, he, he, he ain't, you know, sending nothing back, you know. Uh, so I just think, I just really believe Lomachenko is who stifled his career at top rank. And if when he leaves there, he can go on here and start really building a legacy, but he got to get with a promoter that's going to be behind him 100%, especially with the style of fight, his style of fight. He need a promoter to talk for him and where he can be quiet because it sounds like, see, when he talk like he do, he talk, you know, he, he going to big up himself to death. He talk like he a, he a hell of a motherfucker. And in a lot of ways, he is, but when he go in the ring, he, ain't, he don't look like what he's saying. You understand? You know, he look like a good guy that should be humble. See, because if he humble, then then this looks great. If he was humble and wasn't uh, talk, talking down on a lot of good fighters, people would respect these wins. But when you pop it like he do out here, I mean, he talk cash shit. You know, when you talk like that, Dude's looking for you to go in that ring and turn up. You know, and uh I don't even know if that's in him. I think he's I think he's a I think that what he do is what he do. And it's effective and it's winning. So if he be quiet and let whoever he go for the promoter next to let them do the talking and him do the fighting in the ring, it 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 you know, it, it he could get by like this. But you can't come out here and talk the way he talked and go in there and fight like that. You can't do it. This is why the fans is, is ripping him right now. Uh, but it's all his fault. Well, it's some of it, a lot of it is top rank. But right now, the stuff that's going on now, this is all his fault because he keep dissing Tank, dissing Dev, dissing good fighters, and, and talking like, you know, he's saying he, the, he, the, he that guy. That ain't what it looked like when you're in the ring, though. It just looked like you're a good boxer. It don't look nothing like you, that guy. And I think I think he got that guy type of shit in him, but he just, I don't know why he get, I don't know why he get timid, as it seems, especially with a fighter like he had. <clears throat> Artem, he, you, you, if he, you got to get that type of dude up out of here. You do. You got to get that dude up out of here, whether you got power or not. You need, you supposed to be on him, be on him. And get him up out of the hell, and that's what that's what gave me a lot of concern right there. When a guy like this, who he done already made a low C fighter, go twelve rounds with you, what the what the hell you think gonna happen if you get there with a real A fighter with power? So that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. To the next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.